Good day, traders, divergence traders, and buy the dip and sell the rip traders. <laughs> anyway, it's Monday, and on this chart right here, it's Friday. It's still Friday on the chart, what I'm showing you here. I finally discovered what I was stumped on. <laughs> I know you're going, what, what the hell is he talking about? If you remember, well, if you're an avid watcher of my channel, <clears throat> you would remember this. Um, if you remember, I was showing you how when we have like a, a double top, right? And then you draw it on the Asma, and the and the the line that I draw on the Asma is pointing down, right? Remember I used to say to you, that means the price is going to go down, right, from the double top. Because the, the line's pointing down on the Asma. And then I was stumped, you know, well, hold on, actually. And here's a low and a lower low, okay? So the double tops, double bottoms, lower lows, and higher uh, higher highs, okay, Let, excuse me, let me draw them on here for you, okay, and you'll see what I mean. So right here, we have a low and a lower low, right, and on the Asma, right, we have the low and the higher low, right, and that's what we want to see. This creates divergence right here. So you see how this one, okay, it was a double top, and on the Asma, it was pointing down. So it was telling you the market's going to push down. And and then with a, a low and a lower low, okay, you see the line on the Asma? It's pointing up, right? Meaning the price is going to go up. It didn't go up far here. This is the pound dollar. Okay, it went up like 12 pips. But you see what I'm saying? So what I've figured out and, and what I was stumped on is when you have higher highs, right, you have a lower high on the Osma, meaning it's going to go down. When you have a double bottom or lower lows, okay, on the Osma, when you draw the line, if you do like I do, then it's pointing up and means and it means that the market is going to go up. You see what I'm saying? Okay, we had that clear. You know, you knew that I was pointing that out to you over and over and over again. But when I would come across, where is that now? <laughs> oh, it's on this, it's over here. Yeah. Didn't even go up very much after that. But still, let me show you. So when we have the hard to see hidden divergence okay here is here is the you know the the pullback and we draw it from there to a pullback right which means okay let me draw it on okay there it is okay which means it doesn't mean the same thing when it's pointing down see it's not, it's not, it's not going to come down here, okay? It, it goes up instead. So for the hidden divergence only, okay, you cannot say when you draw the line on the Asma that, you know, the price, it, it's pointing down. So the price isn't going to go down. The price is going to go up because it's, it's the hidden divergence that we're looking at and not the, double bottom or higher or lower lows or higher highs or double tops that when we draw it on here it shows see let, let me show you again here right here um or just do i not see am i seeing that wrong hold on gotta figure it out Okay, so we have it right here. Uh, oh, yeah, he's going to play games on me because I already... Ah. 
Forget that one. Forget it. <laughs> the fucking thing. I can't even click on the goddamn fucking thing. Okay. Um, I was going to draw like, like divergence. This is divergence, but this high is higher than that one. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really divergence. <clears throat> it is. Once the price came down, you know, you'd have to tweak it a little bit and it'd go down. So that's a bad example. <laughs> okay, let me find some hidden. Watch, I won't be able to freaking find it now. Actually, it's it's right here. So this is hidden divergence. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to try and fiddle with that now. So right, right from here, okay, down here, okay, that is hidden divergence, right? So now you see how on the Osma it's pointing up? Yeah, but it's not, it's, it's, it doesn't mean that the price is going to go up because the price went down. So on the, I'll say it once again, I hope it's not too confusing. So on the higher highs and the lower lows and the double tops and the double bottoms, okay, it will draw it, when you draw it onto the Osma, to see if it's divergent, okay, it will be correct. Whichever way the line is pointing on the Osma, that's the direction the price is about to go. But on a hidden divergence setup, okay, it's the opposite. It's the opposite, man. So anyway, I finally figured out what I was stumped on. And now I did, and now I explained to all you guys um, you know, in case you look for it in that way. I never really saw that many years ago. I never noticed that when I used to draw the divergence that, you know, if this was pointing down, you know, on the Osma, the price would actually, you know, roll down after that or roll up. I didn't know. It's just something I, I, I kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I seen it with my eyes and I seen it over and over again just a few weeks ago. So you can never stop learning about this divergence. But like I've said before, I have not created divergence. Divergence is something that is in the world and all many different things. But all that I do know is just like Fibonacci numbers, okay, and the best ones is the 38.2, the 50%, and the 61.8%. Those are your three best Fibonacci numbers to buy or sell off of, okay, and uh, like Fibonacci, it just keeps appearing and appearing and appearing, they're very powerful things, divergence and the Fibonacci numbers, so let's move on now to the setups, okay, I just wanted to say I finally figured out what I was stumped on, and that was it. Okay, here's the NASDAQ. It was real crappy today. Yeah. So, I seen this, and I'm going, okay. They took it right up on the open, right, right off the hop, and made it look like, oh, we're taking it up. We're taking it up. And then they smacked it back down, and I sold it right here, even though my line was still above, because I was pretty certain they were going to take it down here. And I, you know, and they did. It just took about five or ten minutes or so, you know, to come come down here. And I took my whatever right here. I was hoping it was going to go down here further to here, to these lines here, even though they're the wrong price, because this price is off by like 50 points. Okay? It's fucked up. It's from a Forex broker. What do you want? Right? That's what you get. Um, but anyway, so that's what happened. Oh, I didn't even finish drawing it. Jason. It's right here. Okay? So you would have got short like I did. Well, you would have got short on a pullback maybe right in here. Okay? But I already got in right here at the bottom of this big, huge pin bar. 
right? Look at them bouncing it off the freaking, this 18,000, even though it's not 18,000, it's 18. I don't know what it is. But they sure were dancing off here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That must be divergence on the one minute. Ah, uh, kind of. It's triple top. So anyway, if you would have got in here, your stop was 54. It didn't go down 54. It only went down like 30 pips. Points right there. Excuse me there. I just had a cup of Java. So anyway, I knew from this big pin bar, we're probably going to go down, right? And we did. Doesn't mean it'll work every time, but I took it as my, hello, Jason, sell, sell now, you motherfucker, right? That's what I took it as, and I was right, okay? But something to do with NVIDIA today moving here uh, down or whatever, and I don't know, maybe it moved back up, I don't know. I don't follow the, the stocks at all. Uh, you know, I just follow this thing. <laughs> so anyway, we had a low and lower lows right there. And here's the divergence. See, it's pointing up, right? See how the line's pointing up? That means the price is going to go up. <laughs> and it did. It did. So if you would have got in here, your stop would always be at the swing, the closest swing low which is 19 points or whatever right here. And it went up 37 points. And then there was this trade with the big pin bar. That's where you draw it from, from up there to there, there to there. Take a sell and down she go. Okay? So let's move on now <clears throat> to the S&P. Oh, I, I should have traded the S&P today. It was better. Uh, yeah. So we'll show you the same trades here, right here. Low and lower low, okay? And this is pointing up, right? Right here, see? It's pointing up. That means because it's a lower low, okay? That means the price is going to go up. So if you would have bought right there after it chopped everybody up from 7 to 8 o'clock, Guess what? It did you good. You got like eight points out of it. And your stop was only three and a half points. Now, I got to ask you this question. I hope you were paying attention last week. Once you entered the trade, right here, did the price come back right here where I say you should place your stop? Did it come back there and stop you out right here? Did it? Did it? No, it didn't. Do I know why it didn't? Fuck no. It's just a part of this divergent setup that I've been seeing for over 10 years. And, and that's all. So anyway, let's check out the next one. So we have a high right retracement and higher high. Okay. And you would have... See how it's pointing down this the the line, right? That means price is going to come down. And look what it did. That's exactly what it did. Got to love it. I'm telling you, it's just like if you know all these little itsy bitsy parts of this, it, it, you're going to, you know, you're going to really absorb it in your mind and and you're going to start seeing it, I hope, and you're going to start making lots of points. That's the whole point of trading is making points. You know, and everybody has different ways. There's no one way to trade. There isn't, okay? But I'm telling you, what I'm showing you right here and right now is something really fucking good. Really good, man. I'm not shitting you, okay? So anyway, there was the trade, and it went down, as you can see. So the stop always goes here at the, the most recent swing high. And that was five and a half points higher. And how much? Oh, look, it's tanking. It went down like 12 points now. And what did we have along the way in case you missed this entry point right here? Let me show you. 
we had a, oh, first. Where do I need to put that? <laughs> that one goes there. Sorry, there was something else first. Let me show you. There was one of my famous hook downs. Yes. We had a buy fake, higher close candle, and then they rammed it down, right? Meaning it was a hook down. That's what the X stands for. Okay. And then we had a higher close. Wasn't quite close enough to the five, but hey, it just broke through the main pivot of the day, right? That's this blue line I'm pointing to. And yeah, if you would have sold it, you would have had drawdown, right? Right there, more drawdown, more drawdown. I don't know, maybe you would have took, took some points here. But the main, the main uh, chart pattern here that tells you to, to basically don't be buying it, look for sales, was these higher highs right up here. Whether it's a double top, or higher highs, okay? Um, I used to watch this this guy a few years ago. Actually, it was in 2020, I think. Um, you may have heard of him. He's called the Pattern Trader. He would always look for these certain patterns, and then he knew that, you know, and they'd be right at the top of the move or at the bottom of the move, and he knew that once that pattern formed, he knew not to, to buy or he knew not to sell. And that's the same thing right here, right here, ladies and gentlemen. These higher and highs told you, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy unless, you know, unless you're, uh, you know, a high risk, you know, trader. Okay. Excuse me, I'm doing the hockey boogie here. Just had that coffee, that's why. Okay. Um, so there's a good trade here. There was a winner here. There was another winner here. And another one as it went way down here. Because that pattern told us we're going down. See? Pointing down, we're going down. And that's what it did. Let's now look at the Dow. Oh, there's no... There's no There is over here, though. Look. So we got here. We got this, uh, you know. Yeah, see? See? Remember I was telling you about the, the hidden divergence, right? That it doesn't, it doesn't, you can't follow what it's, which way the line is pointing on the awesome to tell you which direction it's going to go. Because... This is the, uh, it's pointing down and it went up, see? But on the higher highs, lower lows, double tops, double bottoms, when you draw the line on the Asma, it tells you which direction we're probably going to go. Don't ask me why it does it, but it does it. I don't know, see, I'm, I'm laughing hysterically because it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Like, it's like. How did I know that? How? Oh, because that line's pointing down. I knew it was going to go down. <laughs> you know what I mean? But usually there is a, you know, a high, a retracement, and a higher high. There's usually divergence here. But no. Because it went up so far and so fast, the indicator painted along with it. So there was no divergence. There was no trade here. But we did have one of these. Okay. Higher close, sell it here, kind of went sideways for a while, then it went down. Higher close, sell it, down it goes, okay? Let's look at uh, the pound dollar now. And what did it give us? Well, let me show you. So we have uh, higher highs there, huh? Yeah. And we have a lower high on the indicator. See? It's pointing down, right? 
So what does that mean? It means that the price is going to go down. And did it go down? It did, it did, it did, it did. It did go down. Got to love it. So if you sold somewhere right here, say just, just below this wick right here, just to give you a little con you know, confirmation, confidence in your trade to sell it. So if you sold it here, your stop would be up here. This is the pound dollar, so the stop was like seven, only seven pips. Did we get our seven pips? Yeah, we did. We got eight pips, see? And which way was this pointing down? It was pointing down. So the price is going to go down, and it did. Okay? And it looks like a perfect double top here. It does. Um, actually, yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know. Let me figure this out here. Okay, so if we say, yeah, it's going up. Okay, it's divergent. What do you know? Hidden divergence, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. See, from there to there, up, from there to there, down. You would have sold it right here and made the profit go round and round. You know that song by Rat? Round and round. What comes around goes around. I'll tell you why. Yeah, I got a, I love that tune. When that came out in the early 80s, it was so bitchin'. It was killer. Very, very um, catchy riff guitars on that. The riff of it. Okay, so anyway, you would have got short here. <laughs> Shut up, Jason. This is not a, a musician channel. It's a trading channel. So you would have got short there. Your stop, I would have put it, you know, right up here at uh, 127. Yeah, this is the pound. Dollar twenty-seven. Nine pips. There's your nine pips in about ten, eight minutes or so. Right there. And if you held it, well, it went down here. We got like double that, 20 pips. Two to one win-loss ratio. Okay? Um, here's another one of those hook downs. Right there. Okay? So you had a, a buy fake and it closed up above the two moving averages when it came back down. Somewhere below these wicks or right here, you would have looked to sell it. And it went down 13 pips right there. Got to love it. And that's it for the pound. Pound dollar. Let's look at the euro. What did it do? Uh, not so good. So much. So good. Oh, it did a good long trend up in the UK session. But it still never, <laughs> it never really went far. Only 35 pips. I just show these two pairs because I, I know there's people who want to, you know, they trade the euro and the pound and they want to see the setups on those two pairs, which is this. So we have a double top here, like almost perfect double top, but it's not lining up with the Osma to give you a, a trade, you know? So... Um, even here, see, we put in a low retracement, lower low. See, this side here needs to be higher than the left side, okay? Which it's not, so there's no divergence here to buy it. Ah, fooey on the euro. Euro wasn't good. What about the pound yen? What did it do? Oh, yeah. I drew this last night. I put an arrow right here, but it was on the 30-minute. Okay, I put an arrow here, I drew the divergence, and, and, and I put this line here saying it's going up here. <laughs> did it go there? Oh yeah, it did, it did, it did. I, I got a crystal ball in my back pocket. It's just a little mini one, but it's a crystal ball. And I go, tell me, oh crystal ball, oh crystal ball, tell me, which way is it going to go? Is it going to go up? Or down. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, what I predicted right here, and it went up 60 points, or pips, I should say. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
Now on the five minute, what did we have? <laughs> Let me remove this here now. Don't need that anymore. Um, yeah, we had divergence down here. Let me make it bigger and then open, take off the auto scroll. And let's draw it from here first. Oh, wrong line. This line we need right here to right here. Okay, that's pointing up. And here's the divergence right here. You got a bot right here. Let me take this one. Okay. And did it go up? You betcha. 14 pip stop. Went up 30, 36 pips. That's 2 to 1 win-loss ratio. Okay. And that was it. Hidden divergence. But you see how it's pointing down on the hidden divergence on the, on the Osma? But the price went up. See how it's the opposite? Oh, yeah. You see it now like me. You definitely do. Um, right up. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take this cell here. Why? Because if, if I put a line there, let me show you my filter. Don't sell there. 15 minute. Look, see? See the 5 still above the 7 on the 15 minute? That means don't sell. Don't sell. Kick that fucking devil off your shoulder that wants you to sell. Kick him off. Okay? Don't sell. Don't sell. If anything, wait for another bullish candle on the five minute and buy it, baby. Buy it. Don't sell it. You'll get in trouble if you sell it. I know I'm yelling at you because I used to do that mistake over and over and over again. You know how many times I lost before I fucking my thick noggin? Before I actually learned not to do that. You're in a major uptrend, right? Sorry I'm yelling, I'm getting excited because I used to fall for this fucking sell trade and lose so many times. I don't fall for it anymore. And if I do, then I'm not paying attention, okay? So trust me on this. If, you, if you're looking to, you know, get in a trade here and it's, and it's in an uptrend, an uptrend, when a, when a sell, trend, sell trade presents itself, don't fucking do it. Because it's just probably a little dip along the way, you know. See, there's the divergence to sell, right? Right here. See it? But don't fall for it. Don't. Always look. Before you take a trade, let's just tell you this. Before you take any trade ever, if, you're tra if you like to trade the one minute, look at the five minute. If you like to trade the five minute, look at the 15 minute. It's a filter. That stops you from making a critical mistake. Okay? So, there was no sell trade here because the 5 is above the 7. I know. I know they're silly moving averages, but they work. Okay? They work. So, anyway. Now I showed you the filter, how to prevent that loss. Okay? Now, the, the real trade you wanted it to take was right here. Let me show you. From there. Right to there. Okay. And this one, I got to delete it because it'll do some funky, f wonky things. So here's the real trade right here, ladies and gentlemen, right there. See? This one going down. See the hidden divergence? This one's pointing down on the Osma. Th that, that, that would mean the price is going down, but for hidden divergence, it means the price is going to go up. And that's exactly what it did. Okay? We got long right there, not short over here. Long. And guess what? It went up 29 pips for you, man. You would have made money. Money, money, money. See, and again, here at the top, look, I still wouldn't do this trade because I'm not trying to pick tops, tops and bottoms, but see, here and here, it was divergent. Did it work out if you would have sold it right here? The stop would have been 17 points. Did we get 17 points? No, because the retrace, retracements on the way up in an uptrend are always shallow. 
They don't go anywhere. Same with this one. See how shallow it is? And right here, how shallow? Yeah. Cause because they're gonna because they're buying the fucking dips in here. And they're buying the dips in here too. And that's why it rallied up and it rallied up because of that. So always look at the higher time frame before you do a trade. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you'll save yourself so much fucking losses. It isn't funny. Okay? Sorry if I was screaming there. I just get excited because I fell for that trap so many times. And I should know better, too. But I always trusted my divergence. So <clears throat> you can't, it, it, it doesn't work all the time. Okay? This, this here will filter out a lot of bad trades for the divergence. And you're also trying to fight against the trend, okay? The trend is up, 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 see? So you don't sell. Don't take the sell trades in an uptrend. Don't take the buy trades in a downtrend, okay? And you'll save yourself a lot of stress. <laughs> a lot of stress, okay? And now what's it doing? It's just chopping up and down between R1 and R2. R2, D2. Okay, let's move on now to the Euro Yen. Boy, I can talk really good today too and Friday. Maybe I healed up a little bit more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the Lord. I praise you because I believe that you're healing me slowly as I age. And my hand is not as cramped, and I, I do feel better. So I'm slowly getting better. It's been, how long now? Uh, November? November? The third week in November 21. I had my last stroke. I had the first one in, in July of 21. And then the second one in November. So... I've gotten a lot better since then. I'm slowly healing up. I believe God is responsible for healing me up. Okay, um, let's move on here. Or did we already look at this? Excuse me, sorry. I really should just you know, pause the video, but I'm afraid I won't turn it back on, on again, and, and I'll post it, and it'll be, oh uh, yeah, it'll be fucked up. Okay, so anyway, let's look at the five minute, we're looking at the Euro Yen, yes, the Euro Yen. Oh, there's a trade right here, right there, to here. See that? That one's going up. That one's going down. Remember I was saying, when it points down on the Asuma, it usually means the price is going to go down, right? But because this is hidden divergence, it goes the opposite. It goes up. It goes up, ladies and gentlemen. Just to know that, that could make you so much money. Oh, did I tell you I'm not a financial advisor? Yeah, I'm not one of those guys. Okay. And there's a lot of risk trading these markets. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's make it bigger. And let's take that uh, auto chart scroll off. So there's, there's the one trade, okay? Would have got you along right in there. And it went up 54 points. Kind of like that. And along the way, what did we have? If we missed our entry point, if we missed our entry point down here, we had our first chance to get in right here. And our second chance was right here. And our, we'll just put one more. And our third chance was right there. See? Lower close. Buy it on the opening or on the... Yeah, the opening of the next candle, and up it goes. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. Here's another one. Lower close, buy it, up it goes. Woo! -wee! Up, up, and away we go. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> See how awesome that is? Just my little, you know, thumb up trades and my X down trades, hook up and hook down. Those alone are worth gold to you. Gold bars, man. No, I'm not a financial advisor. Mount Z. Okay. Question is, when do you stop buying these lower closed candles? Because they will stop, and when they stop, they'll stop abruptly. Okay? We had another trade. Why? Yeah, yeah, right on the opening here. Look, just like that. See? And uh, you would have got long right there. Lower close. Boom. Buy it here. Up it goes. What did you get out of this one? It went up around 17 pips. And our stop is at the swing low. It was 7. See? Let me ask you again. Let me let me let me let me let me make this a little bigger. Oh, it's not looking too good. Okay, it's okay. it's looking good actually. When we entered this trade from this divergent setup, I got to ask you once again. I'm sorry if I keep asking you this question. Did the price, my friends, ladies and gents, did it come back to right here where where I would say to put the stop at the swing low? No, it kept going up. So what what does that mean if you bought and you and it kept and it went up for you? You made money. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm getting a little <laughs> a little wacko right now. Okay, that was it. That's it for the Euro yen. Now what about gold? Oh, wrong gold. <laughs> Always hitting that wrong gold. Okay. We're looking at the 15 minute now. Okay, 15 minute. Oh, look at that. It's right there, right before my eyes. Oh, and it was a beautiful thing. Harvey's makes a hamburger. A beautiful thing. Yeah, we have this place. Not, not Hardee's, because they have Hardee's down in the States and California. This place is called Harvey's. And they make the best burger you can get. They flame, flame broil it on on the on the grill. <clears throat> it's so tasty, so good. It's like it's like getting a, having a barbecue in your backyard kind of thing, kind of burger. So good. And that's the song. Harvey's makes a hamburger, a beautiful thing. Okay, we have hidden divergence here. Okay. See how that's going up? See, see it's going down? This one's going up. Usually with this pointing down on the Oswa, it would mean the price is going to go down. I know I keep fucking repeating myself. But I'm happy now I discovered I discovered what my what I was getting stumped on. So usually it goes down, but when it's hidden divergence, it goes up. So let's just uh Put an arrow on this sucker right there. Stop at the swing low. 23 pip stop. Point stop. Came down a little bit on you. Kind of freaked you out. But then they bought it off the 76.50 level. And that is the correct price of those lines. Because it's oil. Okay? It's not the NASDAQ where they... They fuck around with it. Okay, it went up 100 points, ladies and gentlemen. How do you like those apples? And you also had a lower close right here. Buy it up, it goes. Here's another one. Oh, no, no, no. That's not one. Oh, let me show you. Let me let me make this bigger here. Sorry, I don't mean to keep you here all day. Um, okay, let me just get the right do does. Right here, lower close. Buy it right there. See when you make the chart this big how easy it is to see them and trade them? What I'm talking about here? Because you're waiting on opens and closes of candles. Especially closes. It's not how it opens, it's how it closes that, you know, determines the near-term trend. That's a saying from long ago from my broker. He's actually my mentor also. Um, when I learned from him, he had like, he was like, 
30 years experience in the markets. Yeah. He's passed now. He was the best uh, grain analyst in the world. His name is Tim Hannigan. One of the best traders in the world, let me tell you. He was also a broker. But anyway, so lower close, buy it, and how many points potential could we have got out of that? 32 if you're quick enough to take it right at $77 a barrel. And then we had another lower close, but this time this this close closed below the two moving averages. So that means what we'd be waiting for is this. This is what you call a hookup, okay? So you'd wait for the next candle not to open, but to close up back up above the two moving averages. Then you would buy it right there, okay? And it went up 44 pips. And if you're still holding on, it's went up like 80. 83 points up there. But you see how this here lower close is so far from my my 5 EMA? So there's no lower close. Buy it up, it goes here. You could try it. If you're always looking to buy a dip, you always want to do it on a, after a, you know the candle did the opposite. Like on a lower close. Because you'll, you'll suffer the least amount of drawdown when you do. But anyway, that's what happened here. It was all good. All good, ladies and gents. Now we have one more, I think. Did we already do gold? Uh, did I skip from... I clicked on the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. We just covered oil. We were supposed to cover gold first, but now we're going to look at gold. Uh, gold. Oh, I just made it smaller. I need to make it bigger. Where's the trade here? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see, senorita. I see. I see, senor. Okay. Here we go. right here yeah right there see right there and right there see it I don't have it in the right spot but it, it lines up trust me and you would have got short on gold, that is. Right here, below these wicks, somewhere right in there. If you would have got short, it went down 63 points. Okay? That's it. That's all. That's the only trade on gold that I can see. On the 15 minute, well, we could look in the 5, but, yeah. Let me show you. Let me just take these out of here now. I already showed you on the 15. Let me show you on the 5. So we got a high and a higher high, right? Yeah. And we got a high and a lower high on the Osma, right? It's pointing down, right? See it pointing down? What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? What does it mean? What it means is if price comes down and closes below the 5 and below the 7 and the and the 5, you know, is below the 7, it means pointing down, it means price is going to go down. So, if you would have sold it right there, well, let's just say you sold it there. Your, your stop is always at the swing high, right? 18 pips right there is the stop. How far did it go down? 70 pips. It's basically the same as the other trade on the 15 minute, okay? But anyway, there's that trade, and there's one last trade I'm going to show you, and we'll wrap it up for the day. So you would have got long somewhere in there, say above, just above this wick, you would have you would have jumped in, boom, bye, and up we go, and it went up like 27 points. See that? All right, so I hope that you got a lot out of this video today. 
Um, I sure did because I now realize that my, when I used to get stumped on those hidden divergence trades and why it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do or not want it to do. The market does what the market wants to do. The market tells you what to do. You don't tell it what to do. You know, like, oh, I'm going to put my stop here. It's going to be, it's going to do it every time. I'm going to have a, a 10 tick stop and I'm going to have a 5 tick take profit. That doesn't work, man. That will never work out for you in the end. It may work out a couple of times, but it won't work. You know why it won't work? Because the market is always moving. The market is always evolving. It's always, you know, doing something different than the other day or last week. You know, so it's it's static, as they say. You know, you got to have a static. If you're going to put a stop, you got to know where to put it. If you don't know where to put it, they're going to come back and they're going to get your stop because that's their job. They're, they're, they're the biggest stop hunter in the world, right? So anyway, I got to ask you this one question. Well, maybe two questions. You sold it right here, okay, because it told you so, the divergence. You always got to have a divergence. Uh, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> you always got to have a reason to get in the trade to begin with. Because if you don't, then you're guessing. Okay? So the reason here was higher highs, divergence. Okay? So once you got in short, I always tell you, put your stop at the closest swing high if you're selling and the closest swing low if you're buying, right? So, hey, that's, that's what you got to do. If you just put a... 10, 10 point take profit or 10 point stop or whatever, you know, it, it's not going to work for you. Come on. You got to put your stop in different places all the time. They got to be at the swing highs in a sell or the swing lows in a buy. That's where your stop goes. So they don't come and get you. Anyway, <laughs> I think I said enough. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the show. It's all meant to help you be a better trader. I hope we'll see you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but I hope you'll be here and you'll come out and watch it again. And you can learn some more stuff. Okay? So anyway, if you're going to trade this afternoon, be careful. It can get wild. Okay? So anyway... Thanks for watching and listening. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you can. Good luck and good trading.